When I'm in a social environment with other people, I would sometimes worry so much about being likable. Whether I was likable, whether I was participating to the group, whether the group likes me. So much so to the point that I would not even talk. And then I'd start to worry and overthink about talking. What should I say? So how do I speak well? How do I speak so I resonate with the people I'm with? So that I am likable? How do I speak my mind without sounding like a dick? <laughs> this video will literally help you not only talk, but explain things so much more clearly to those people around you, so that you can simply become that little bit more likable in the group. Stories. When you want to resonate with people, the people that you are with, talking to them, their brain is like a door, and you need a key to unlock that door. And we can do this by a story. Like what I just did now, I just told you a story about unlocking a door with a key. It makes it easier to understand. And if you can tell a story about your views, about something that you want to talk about, something that can relate to them, they will be very interested in what you have to say. People love talking about themselves. So when they hear something that relates or resonates to their own experiences, they will want to listen to you. It's what I learned about how to tell a story better so I can help you guys better. I have to tell you my experiences that other people can actually relate to. So people will actually want to listen and learn something. And when you're talking about stories, something to do with your own experience, it can make it a lot easier, a lot more comfortable to talk about. So you don't worry about overthinking about talking. Emotions. If you want to articulate yourself, you want to speak well and clear, Unfortunately, emotions will cloud your view. Say somebody insults your ego, it hurts your feelings, insults something about you. You immediately want to retaliate, you immediately want to get on the defensive, creating this conversation into almost like a battleground. Doesn't matter if they're right, doesn't matter if they're wrong. It hurts so you want to attack. You can see how emotions can actually sometimes be a little bit blinding. In a conversation, you're all joking, one of your guy friends makes a little joke about something that you do that's kind of hurtful, but as a joke. You know, he didn't really mean it, but then you get all defensive and it makes it really awkward. You let your emotions cloud your view. Not only does this help with being able to speak more freely and actually articulate your words better, but it helps with arguments. Whenever you're in an argument and you're getting, you're letting your emotions heat up, to the point where you don't even remember the, the point of the argument, take a step back, take a big breath and sort of think, okay, you know what? Mum got annoyed at me for not taking out the trash. She then went on to talk about how I'm uh, a useless piece of shit. <laughs> I'm irresponsible, I'm still living at home. I'm just creating this as an example off the top of my head. We all start getting into an argument and then we forget that we're arguing about the fact that I just didn't take out the trash. Maybe I should just take out the trash so this doesn't happen. So I don't make mum upset. And practice. Ultimately, that is the best thing I can say. Experience. Just go out and talk. To be honest, that kind of makes sense. The best way to get better in social environments, to be more likable, is to practice in social environments. It's the best way to learn. With more practice, you overthink less. With more practice, you feel more comfortable. It's why when that first social group you're with is awkward, but then when you start to become friends, it's not awkward anymore. It's simply just down to practice. So, the next time you're in a social environment and you're overthinking about whether if I'm likable or not, or should I say something, I don't know. I'm overthinking talking now. People already like you. You've been quiet, you've been listening to others, and people love listeners. People who simply listen to their thoughts. So it's okay to say something. To just talk out your own thoughts. Hopefully this helped you out. And hopefully things have been good. I hope everything's alright. And I'd be really appreciated if you clicked on the video in the corner here. Because maybe this video could help you out too. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and don't give up. Hey, come here, something from me, kiss.